video so it's no secret that our codes has always been in the smartphone game but they're not really big in the US I would say more than likely most people probably don't even know who they are uh, but nonetheless uh, they have decided to hit the Android market hard in 2015 and what you're looking at here is uh, one of their smartphones that they just announced at CES it's called the Arcos 50 Diamond and uh, this thing is going to be nice uh, the specs on it are ridiculous as you would probably imagine um, they're uh, I'm gonna click on it here in a second I'm trying to get situated wasn't expecting to do any videos right now but uh, here we go check this out the Diamond 50. This has a 1080p display, it's an octa core, and it's 4G LTE. Let's go straight to the specs. 8 millimeters in thickness, is that not uh, nice or what? And uh, the reason that this phone is relevant, it's going to be relevant, if only it would come to the US, it is LTE, and also it's under $200, supposedly. So, uh, as you can see here, it actually has the Snapdragon Dragon 615. That is going to be killer. Uh, I, I really have to get my hands on this phone. Um, I, I have other devices that I'm picking up, but I, I got to make room for this device right here, uh, especially if it's under $200. I don't know how true that is, but um, uh, if I can get my hands on it and it's under $200, it is going to be on. So, a 16 megapixel camera, what do you say about that? Wow. 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs on board, and it takes an SD card up to 128 gigs. 5 inches, 1080p, that equates to 440 or 441 on some people's measurements. The only thing that I don't see that this, you know, it's not a bad thing, it's just that it comes with 4.4.4, which is still good. That's fine, because if you ever had an Arcos phone, it's pretty much a stock experience. Uh, but it's got all the usuals there. And um, as you can see, the LTE there is going to be nice. It doesn't have the US LTE bands, but uh, it'll still um, get edge in the United States, but you can turn on Wi Fi. And that's probably got to be the one of the biggest downers ever. It has a 2700 milliamp battery, 8 megapixels on the front. That's just crazy. Both of them are shooting in at 1080p for recording. That is just ridiculous. Also uses a 5 volt 1 amp uh, micro USB charger. So I think you can probably do some fast charging with that if you have a cable. Uh, but wow, are those great, great specs or what? Very, very nice. This is going to be a killer device, but unfortunately, the US, we don't get to enjoy the Arcos phones because they don't have anything for us. Their OT bands are not there. So let me go back to smartphones and show you some of these other ones here. This is the Arcos uh, 4G line right here. As you can see here, it has a HD display, LTE, quad core. This is another one here. And here's the uh, 4.5 inch one. I'm really excited about the top one, but I wanted to show you these right here since I'm on the on the screen here. And you see this one is HSPA Plus. I like how they're listing them there, but you know we won't be able to grab any of these uh, because it doesn't work in the U.S. with our our bands. Uh, this one right here, actually, nope. Uh, to, to CD mate. Nope. This one, these are all going to be 2G phones for us, and that that kind of sucks, man, because these are some beautiful devices, and you'd have to keep them on Wi-Fi if you do decide to get them. That still doesn't mean that I'm just not going to review them. Uh, that that doesn't mean that. But check out this bad boy here. Smartphone meets tablet. Now we've already we already know that there's plenty of phones out there that are huge in screen size. That doesn't that doesn't make them good. But this 6.4 inch. Uh, it's really nice. As you can see, the resolution is 18, excuse me, 1280 by uh, 720, so it's obviously a 720p display. Uh, doesn't equate to much for the pixel count, but with it being an affordable device, I don't think many people are going to care. For those that can get this and get LTE or 4G on them, but um, this is really, really nice. Arcos is doing a great job. I just wish they would bring some of their products to the U.S. or make them compatible with the U.S. carriers. Uh, this is an HSPA Plus device. As you can see there, uh, it's going to work on, again, 2G, no no 3G for us. Um, that's unfortunate, but 
that's just how it goes. 8 megapixels on the back, 2 megapixels on the front. It only records in 720p. And this one is really intriguing to me because it has killer, killer, killer screen size. I, I would love that. Uh, but, you know, they, they watered it down so they can get the pricing right. And uh, it's not a bad thing. It's Everyone doesn't want the latest and greatest high-end specs. They're perfectly content with having a 720p display great example is the Ascend Mate 2. That is a fantastic killer device. Great battery, great screen, great cameras. It's just really, really solid. So uh, Mate 2 owners, we should be happy. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of what, what Arcos just announced. Uh, there's a ton of uh, devices that they have come into the market. Uh, but unfortunately, oh, look at this one, 5.9 titanium. Uh, some of these I think I've seen before, but they just didn't release. Yeah, this isn't a new one. Uh, but their new ones are up here. This is the Diamond. Arcos 50 Diamond. And they name it 50. If you know Arcos, it's, that's the size of the screen. Uh, but yeah, this is really nice. And it's again, it's, it's kind of unfortunate that it won't work on LTE in the U.S. It won't even get um, um, 4G over here. Let me go double check the bands again, and we shall see. Just to confirm... Um, nope, won't, won't get anything but 2G in the U.S. And that's unfortunate because this is a killer. I still might go ahead and get it if it's under 200 bucks because um, I think it's worth having. Even I can just run it on Wi-Fi and it's dual SIM. I didn't mention that, but it is dual SIM. Uh, but the 16 megapixels on the back and 8 on the front, that is just going to be really nice. So what do you guys think about Arcos' announcement of their new Diamond 5.0? smartphone so we got some tablets too but i really wanted to cover this in this video so let me know what you think in the comments guys i will see you in the next one arcos is trying to shut us down over here in the u.s